Hello everybody and thank you for joining me for my review of the 2015 film Bridge of Spies directed by Steven Spielberg starring Tom Hanks, Mark Rylance and a whole bunch of other good actors and the acting is very good in this film but I feel that Hanks and Rylance really make the film what it is. So to give a brief plot without giving too much away, a general plot of this film would be that Tom Hanks is a lawyer and he basically defends Mark Rylance's character who is accused of being a spy from another country who is caught. And when a few Americans are taken prisoner by those other countries, there is a basically a negotiation, you know, to do a um, an exchange of prisoners. So that's the basic synopsis. There's a lot more that goes on in this film, but that is a good uh, brief plot summary, I feel. So basically, there are a lot of strengths and weaknesses to this film. The strengths being the acting, especially Tom Hanks and Mark Rylance and their relationship in the first half of the film. Uh, the film also has great technicals, as is usual in a Spielberg film. The cinematography and production design are very nice, which I've never seen a Spielberg movie where they weren't excellent. And Thomas Newman, who is one of my favorite composers, also does a great job with the score of this film. I actually didn't know he was the composer till the end of the film, but it made sense once I saw his name in the credits. He does a great job with the score, as he always does, in my opinion. Now, the first half of this film is very interesting and exciting for the most part. All the scenes between those two uh, lead actors are great. We really get a lot of insight into both characters, and we care about what happens to both characters. Uh, unfortunately, there are some problems with this film that I feel weigh it down quite a bit. They don't kill the film, but they do weigh it down. First of all, I felt like the family dynamic in this film. I feel family is important, and it's nice to show, you know, a family side of a man in a film. But I felt like Hank's family was kind of shoehorned into this film. The family scenes didn't, to me, really add a lot of intensity or excitement to the film. And they ultimately weren't that important to what was going on in the story. I was waiting for the family to play a bigger part and it just didn't happen. It felt like they were there just to manufacture like more danger and, and to tell us that this guy was a family man, but I don't know how much it really relates to the plot. I felt that time could have been better spent developing other important characters, which is where I think the other problem with this film falls in. We get a great deal into Mark Rylance's character and we care about what will happen to him. But the other two Americans, you know, that are that are captured behind the lines, we don't really learn that much about them. I mean, the situation of, of how they were captured is explained, but it's just more exposition to let you know what happened more than actual characterization. I don't really feel like we really care that much about either character, and it hurts the end of the film because we're only really rooting for one of the three characters that are important. Which leads me to the other thing. This film, while the first half is really good, really the second half weighs down because it focuses less on Mark Rylance's character, and we get all this negotiation stuff that just isn't as interesting because... Two of the characters that it's about, we don't know that much about them. I mean, it's still fine. It's just very workmanlike and watchable, but not as exciting or riveting as it could have been. I feel like there's a lot of sentimental moments in this film just thrown into where Spielberg just kind of tried to throw things in for sentimental value, and they don't really totally work because of, you know, what I said about the characters. And uh, there's probably one ending too many on this film, too, this Film has what I could would consider to be a lot of endings to wrap up a lot of things, and I'm not really sure we needed all that. But um, ultimately, Tom Hanks is Tom Hanks, which is a good thing. I mean that as a compliment. Mark Rylance should certainly be considered for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. And it's a very nice film to look at, and it is a pleasant experience overall. There's some good moments, and it's an interesting story worth telling. It's a very different story from the type of, you know, espionage, courtroom type, you know, international story that we get. So I do feel like the film is worth watching, if for nothing else, the performances alone. Like I said, the music is really pleasant to listen to. And I also like how the music isn't overdone. There's a lot of moments where there is no music. So then the scenes that do have music work well. They didn't just swell up big music at every opportunity. So there's a lot of things I like about this film. Unfortunately, I think there's things in the script and direction it could be tighter and better. The film is pretty long, it's almost two and a half hours, and I think that was the appropriate length. 
I just think that the subject matter tackled was not necessarily what should have been. I felt that the the two characters I've mentioned should have gotten more screen time and we should have got more about them. And there should have been less of some of the other subplots, which I didn't really think added much to the film. So overall, this film's definitely a mixed bag. This to me was like an average film, like a two and a half film. But because of the performances and the great technicals, which are important in a film, I'll up it to a three out of five and recommend Bridge of Spies. Definitely a movie to check out. I mean, you don't have to run, sprint out to watch it, but it's worth your time. It's interesting with good acting. So three out of five for Bridge of Spies. As always, thanks for watching and have a good one.